Hi everybody, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, by the normal length of my videos, this is going to be a very short one. So what this one's about is, very recently I did a couple of videos on my new Zoom in, Zoom in, Garmin Zumo XT sat-nav and comparing it to a, my previous 595 sat-nav and also its compatibility with various neckband Bluetooth speakers to hear the voice instructions out of and uh, as you'll see if you click above here and uh, on this link and the two pictures at the end of this as well uh, you can access all, all the videos that go into great detail how it's not compatible with every bluetooth device but i found one that it is compatible with and that's what i'll be using so bit of background first the reason i'm doing this is to show it in action in actual action working to prove that it, it does work and uh, this idea i had to use this is is quite a good idea so first of all what the reason is as you'll know on a motorcycle if you want to hear the voice instructions from your sat nav it's quite a noisy environment so the the specific motorcycle sat navs like the garmin zumo and the tom tom riders transmit have the ability to transmit the voice instructions and any other sounds uh, camera alerts music files or whatever via bluetooth to a bluetooth headset now i have a scorpion kit car it's not a motorcycle but it's it's classed as a, a reverse tricycle and it is a very very noisy environment because it's out in the open and it's a motorcycle engine here's a quick picture of it here so as you'll see, as you'll realise, trying to hear voice instructions on that is is quite hard through conventional speakers. Now, when it's poor weather and raining, I wear one of these, a Bluetooth helmet, a Viper Bluetooth helmet, and that's brilliant. You can hear it clear, clear as a bell, but of course only when you're wearing the helmet. Now, I don't like wearing the helmet in the sunny weather, uh, only when it's raining. So what I've been doing is using the existing speakers of my car and a radio system I put in. I'll, I'll just show you that here now. So this is the radio system I've got in the car. You can see it with the speaker next to it. And the the old uh, sat never had the Garmin 595. That's its mount. Now that had the capability of wiring in to an auxiliary input of the speaker. So I could hear all the sat nav instructions through these uh, speakers. But as you can see, they are at low level in the footwell. And when there's you and a passenger sat in the car, uh, you had to have them up full blast to, to hear any of the voices. And uh, there's the old 595 on the top there. But um, with this new sat nav I've got, the XT, there is no facility for wiring it into that. So you have to use a Bluetooth device to hear the voices. So uh, hence me getting the, the neckband as explained in the other videos. So as you can uh, appreciate, the being low down in the car, you can't really hear the speakers at all. So I had this idea to get the speaker, I, tr I tried, as I explained in more detail in the other uh, videos, I tried putting like an extension speaker on top of the dash, but it, uh, it, it you had to have it so loud to hear it that it was annoying, so it was very embarrassing at, at traffic lights and driving through a town listening to voice instructions. So I had the idea of using one of these right under your ears. You can hear it at, uh, this This was the, the theory and the hope. You can hear it at um, noisy environments, high speed in the wind and that without annoying any passers-by. And uh, like I said, the other videos show choosing which one of these to get and its compatibility with the Garmin so I thought I'd go out today and actually film it live in action and record the sound coming out of here receiving a phone call and also receiving the voice instructions from the Garmin just to see if it does work so like I said the other two videos go into it in detail but they don't I only tested it on the bench I wanted to go out in the car and show you how it is in real life out in the open receiving the phone call receiving the voice messages can you hear it so uh, what i did i rigged up this to be as accurate as possible with 
the microphone position where my ear was i rigged up this uh, this hat so here we are and uh, i realize i look a bit of a prat in fact a lot of a prat but uh, i rigged up this uh, bought this hat it'll come in handy for other things as well mounted the osmo action on it there and i've also put as you can see the um the road radio mic there again if you're interested on a full test on that fantastic bit of kit these are check out the link up here um road that's the receiver here's the mic the transmitter and i've positioned it there right where my ear is so I've tried to be as accurate as possible. So that is where, during this test, you'll hear all the voices from the sat-nav instructions and the uh, telephone call that I'll make, uh, that I'll receive from my daughter. And it's right above the next speaker. So during this, the, this video, you'll hear um, exactly how it sounds to me. Uh, and I've, I've, I've sort of set the levels right and everything so what you're hearing is what I hear and you will hear it is pretty clear the satnav instructions are perfect all the time which is what I want it for the phone on the in certain, certain ways either my voice or the voice I'm receiving from my daughter breaks up a few times but uh, you can definitely understand phone calls so uh, let's get into it now I'll just show you uh, what I look like driving it uh, arriving at the house with with my daughter this is uh, the sort of site i've been on the road today so uh, don't laugh So I decided to uh, go out for a run and uh, I took my daughter with me and my other daughter followed in her car with all the grandkids and I decided to uh, treat them to some ice creams. A great ice cream parlour near Lancaster called Wallings Ice Cream. I'll put a link below to their website. As you'll see in a minute, the, the ice cream is fantastic. Um, it's good value, um, get tons and tons of it, and there's loads and loads of choices. So uh, join me now in a little trip to uh, Walling's Ice Cream near Lancaster, and uh, you'll hear the voices. Uh, first of all, let's hear the voice. Um, first bit just contains um, a couple of the, the voice instructions from the sat-nav, like turn left, turn right, etc. This is it, there. I'll put my hand up in a minute when it's been... Turn straight. left onto A588. In four miles, turn right on to B5272. In one mile, turn right on to B5272. Okay, so as you heard there, pretty clear. I, I had no problem whatsoever um, through the wind and the noise of the exhaust, which is right by my side. Um, like I said, quite a noisy environment, and uh, I heard it as absolutely as clear as a bell, so that, that's uh, ideal. So we'll have a look now at um, the phone call, first of all, when I'm, I was in the middle of nowhere and not a good phone signal, and you'll hear breaking up on my daughter's end. She, she's sort of like hearing me break up. One minute she says, um, I can tell what you actually said, and then next minute, as you'll hear, she says, I can't understand a word you, you, you're saying at the end. But uh, she did get most of the message, even though it was breaking up, and I think that was mainly loss of signal uh, due to the area where we're in. So let's have a listen to that now. Okay, so if we don't ring you now, it's... A... Okay, can you hear me? Okay. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, hi, we're here to make you up. Yeah, you're, um, you're loud and clear. Just say something. I'm stuck behind this truck. I want it to go fast here. Well, I don't really hear you, but you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Right. That could be just because I've got a poor signal on my phone. Yeah, I know, I know what you said. Yeah, okay then, that'll do then. I'll hang up now. Yeah. I'll hang up, alright. I can't understand the word you're saying. 
So as you heard, I could hear her, hear her pretty well, and she could make out what I was saying. So you can get by. Uh, this is once we arrived at uh, Wallings, and this is uh, what the place is like. So here we are at Wallings Farm. Um, I had the Malteser ice cream. My daughter had a coconut. My grandson a Biscoff. They've got 30 different flavours. They're in the waffle cones. They're the most expensive. But they work out really good value. You get tons of ice cream. And I think they're £2.40 for them. Um, which you can pay £2 for a 99 from an ice cream van. So uh, these are much better value. As you can see, over 30 different flavours. If you want to pause the screen on there little uh animal sort of petting farm huge car park they've got a a farm shop selling meats and a cafe and uh a pretty big car park as well so uh well worth a run out to uh cockram near lancaster to uh, wallings farm so as mentioned in the original videos the main reason i got this was the much brighter screen than my previous sat nav the uh, the Garmin 594 so 595 so uh, I've zoomed in on it on this bit I'm not sure where the sun is I think the sun's off to the side during this bit it's not directly behind but it is a very very bright sunny day and, and I've zoomed in on the screen so you can see uh, actually how bright it, it does appear it's much better than the 595 was let's have a look at that now yeah. Take the third exit. At the roundabout, take the third exit to B 5412. And the last bit of the uh, journey is uh, another phone call on the way home. This is near a home, so I know we're in a, a good phone reception area. And uh, if anything, I, it, I, it was breaking up my end a bit. Um, her voice was breaking up, but she said she could hear me, as you'll hear her say in, in this bit, she could hear me perfectly. So uh, either way, it's uh, you, you can get by and uh, understand what each other are saying. No? Yeah, hello. Yeah, I couldn't hear you last time. I answered, but... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What are you doing? Are we... Am I coming into the petrol station with you or what? No, just go straight on and I'll go. I'll do it on the way home. Uh, it's still breaking up, isn't it? No, it sounds alright. Oh, mine's breaking up a bit, but I can hear you. I'm just speaking in the background. Yeah, alright. I'll hang up now. You've got loads of, loads of noise in the background. Yeah, but I can make out what you're saying if you need to. Right, I'll see you later. Uh, so there it is um actually in use in real life situation on a hot sunny day you saw the visibility is good on the xt and the sound from this was absolutely fantastic i had no problem hearing uh, all the voice instructions and even when the phone broke up a bit I could easily get by you know you could tell it what each other are saying when i do go on a long journey in the scorpion i'm not planning on making loads of phone calls but if in case somebody rings you the facility is there that you can just press a button on the screen and uh, answer your phone call and they will make themselves heard. before when i was using like a little built-in mic on top of the dashboard i hadn't a chance nobody could hear what i was saying well this the built-in mic on this and speakers were absolutely uh, ideal and like i said the voices were absolutely crystal clear even in the most noisy of uh, environments so uh, that sort of brought, concludes all the sort of three videos about the sat nav and these um like i said check the two links at the end of this uh these two squares for uh, in-depth reviews on this and the other YouTube, uh, bluetooth speakers and the sat nav itself so uh Hope it's been of some use. You kit car, sports car, open top, cabriolet, noisy car, whatever drivers. You now have a, a way of hearing the voice instructions from your sat nav and, and making in phone calls. Yeah, I shall catch you for the next review very, very soon. 
thanks for watching this one don't forget to subscribe by clicking the little shed here and i'll see you very very soon bye for now